What's going on guys, Prost and back again with the WWE 1996 Royal Rumble review and I'm reviewing it and I'm not even halfway there yet. I've got up to 2013 to do it so I don't think I'm going to get it completed by Sunday. So if this is, if you see it rest of the week going over Royal Rumble, you can say oh my god you're still doing Royal Rumble concert. I'm still going to finish the series but it may just take a couple more days after the actual Royal Rumble this Sunday. Anyway, it's fucking somebody Snapchat me like. Um, bro, really? Um, then we had so the first match in that Armour Johnson versus Jeff Jarrett. It was it was a short match. Didn't really wasn't much to this. Um, it ended in a qualification. Really, not much to talk about. The Smoking Guns defended WWF title titles against the Body Adonis. Now this was a good match to open up. Um, the Royal Rumble. I thought that both teams did really well and the heels and faces and stuff. Um, the ending comes where Billy Gunn Spears were. Billy Gunn Spears, um, one of the body downs for the win, and they are the new WWF Tag Team Champion. Now this was a good, this was a good way to open up. Uh, or maybe you could have opened up with this match, but then in the last couple of matches you've had some good solid opening card matches, and then you had this Jeff Jarrett on the Johnson match. And then we have the WWF title. We have the Dolph title on the line. It's Razor Ramon defending his WWF title against Goldust, and obviously we knew this was like pre. This was pretty obviously out there because this was the last one of New Generation Era. Um, because the New Generation Era would obviously end after WrestleMania. And, you know, this was a solid match. I thought that, that this Razor Ramon and Goldust match was good. Um, Goldust wins. Um, Rosset gets the win and he's your new IC champion. I thought that this was a good match. Both guys had a good match and overall it was enjoyable, yeah. Uh, then we have... The Royal Rumble itself, so we have the 30 man Royal Rumble. Um, we have lots of Shawn Michaels in there, Diesel, Triple H was in there, X Pac was in there. I do want to mention though, before I go into this Royal Rumble match, we had if we back in 1996 they had these skits or parodies of Ted, Ted Turner because this was around the time when he bought WCW around like 94 and they were slowly acknowledging that WCW was becoming a thing. And they hit, they would do like billionaire Ted skits with like Vince Russo and somebody as Macho Man, and I just thought that was funny. Um, but onto this match, like yeah, you know, you had the all the clicking there. Triple H was this was his first Royal Rumble. X Pac, Jeff Jarrett, Owen Hart, Diesel. Let me go to the final two. Um, Diesel and Shawn Michaels. Obviously, Shawn Michaels won it last year, nineteen ninety five. Because he eliminated British Bulldog and he he won it again second time in a row that he has won the Royal Rumble defeats Diesel. Obviously they go on to face. Obviously the WrestleMania is going to be Shawn Michaels and Diesel WrestleMania. Well, it's going to be Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart at WrestleMania, and obviously the both of them. We all know that. Anyway, yes. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.